Kate Lutzko is with Stay, Work, and Play New Hampshire. And, uh, Commissioner, tell me a little bit about um, Kate, and then we'll meet her. Well, you know, it's a, it's a remarkable what she's doing. She's recently taking over this uh, Stay, Work, Play initiative, and it is an effort to really keep the best and brightest young minds in New Hampshire. Now, we find that, you know, that there are a number of young people that stay, but there are other people that, uh, you know, look for other locations or think they have to be somewhere else to be able to uh, to be successful and either be entrepreneurial or get a good job. Um, this organization, well, I, sh I should let her uh, talk about it instead of uh, doing all the explanation, but we're very uh, delighted that she's joining us today, and, and uh, I know a lot of people who were very excited when she was selected to be the, uh, the new director. Okay, thanks for being in the studio. Absolutely, thanks for having me. And you just got to hear from one of the uh, young entrepreneurs who decided to do it here in New Hampshire. Yes. Must make you feel good. Absolutely, he's doing exactly what we're hoping for. Well, tell me a little bit about Stay, Work, and Play, or Stay, Work, Play. Stay, Work, Play, um, we're a nonprofit. It comes out of the 55% initiative, which came through the University System of New Hampshire and is following up on some um, recommendations that came out of a governor's task force. So it's really just about um, a marketing effort to get rid of some misconceptions and encourage more college graduates to stay in the state after graduation and or return to the state. Stayworkplay.org is a site. Correct. What have we been seeing? What are some of the misperceptions? Or that there are no jobs, that there are no homes to buy or apartments to rent, um, a lot of things that, you know, you can get this great big job in Boston, but sometimes people don't take into consideration that the cost of living is that much higher. And what about starting a business? Starting a business as well. We have New Hampshire has one of the highest um, numbers of entrepreneurs in the country. Per capita. Correct. So it's a great place to do that. Well, that, that's neat. And, um, and this group now, you, now you have some sponsors. I know Northeast Delta Dental, which is a great sponsor of our program, and the, and the Pulse is a sponsor, and, and, and they're helping you underwrite this, basically. Correct. Yep, they helped us get our website. We're in the soft launch period right now, so they helped us get that up and running. And as you get more funding, what will you be doing with it? Um, the website's going to be kind of a portal for to attract our demographic, 20 to 30-year-olds. Um, we'd like to offer a job search engine so that people can see that there are actually jobs available in the state. Um, the website is things to do in New Hampshire, from golfing to skiing to restaurants. Um, there's a section about why you should stay here and how you can find a house and resources for all of that. Um, so it's just a matter of expanding the marketing. Do you help people like Greg, who's starting the, this bat company or started it, um, grow or learn? Are, are there resources, George or Kate, for someone like a Greg and his partner who where you, you know the deal, George and Kate, um, you take Greg and the American Bat Company. I mean, they're making the product. They're finishing the product. They're marketing the product. They're probably delivering it themselves. They're, they're, they're kind of doing it all. It, 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 does, does this organization stay, work, play? Would it help someone like Greg or a company learn about, you know, if they want to grow their business or get some grants or funding or loans or, or uh, marketing tips? Well, Jack, I, I would say that uh, certainly we have a number of programs, uh, as we've discussed before, uh, to, to help small businesses. Um, but I think the, uh, the issue with Stay, Work, Play is the connection that they can make with other young people. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, my hope is that uh, there is somebody listening here that's, that's uh, a young person and said, geez, I'd like to connect with, with the Greg Bowens that are creating a lot of good opportunities in our state. And I suspect that, again, Kate will help be able to make a lot of those connections in uh, a lot of the efforts that she's doing. Yes, I started with the organization about two months ago, and one of the first things that I've done is created a young professional advisory group, if you will. There are now seven young professional networks within the state, um, most of them regional, and I've pulled one representative from each to form a group we'll meet monthly um, and you know, hear the news about what's going on with their organization and kind of form like an overarching statewide young professional group to bring the state together. Well, it's it certainly, you know, I, you hear George reports that we're becoming an older state, the demographics. And certainly this, and you look to the future, and, you know, I've said on the show, Kate, I don't need you to react, or you can if you want, and George, that sometimes political leaders who are elected get so busy dealing with day-to-day -day stuff that there's no long-term planning or thinking. It's kind of just react to the, 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 the news cycle in front of us. 
and 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 and, but, and that's not a knock totally on people in New Hampshire because I don't think the president of the United States could actually tell us in 20 years. Uh, I think you'd maybe like to, but I don't think they can tell you in 20 years where, where we're going to be getting energy and what the jobs are and why we're competitive and what, what we're going to look like and, you know, all that stuff. So I think realizing young people need to stay here or want to come back here to kind of grow a business, grow a family, um, you know, basically become adults, even though they're young adults, uh, is a pretty important lifeblood for the state. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Go Kate. ahead. I was just going to say, you're absolutely right. And I think that it, it's uh, it's been terrific for us. Uh, as Kate had mentioned, it was uh, Governor Lynch's tax force on young workers. Um, and it's not like we expect that 100% of the young people who graduate from college in New Hampshire are going to stay here. We certainly want to increase that number. Uh, but having additional one stay really has been good for us because it, it makes us focus on those things that – are, are attractive and how we we as a state do a better job that way and again it really will help us in the future and my hope is um, in addition to the entrepreneurial side that uh, young people would also look to state uh, service as an opportunity for them that you know there are a lot of I think when you talk about elderly workers or not elderly but older workers uh, a lot of people in state service have been there a long time and we really need to be able to recruit a lot of young people and, again, that brain power that can uh, move things and, and have a, a new way of looking at it and a, a real creativity. Kate, where are you from originally? Canterbury, so right here in New Hampshire. Why'd you stay here? Um, one of my favorite things about New Hampshire is you can make a difference. You can be a s one person and you can be known and you can actually make a difference rather than just being a name or a you know, face in the crowd. I, know, I mean, look at J-Dog. I mean, he's got their name and animals after him now. It's unbelievable. Um, so stay work, play. Now, I hope our, our state motto is okay. I hope that's not a deterrent because I'm a big fan of the live free or die. I think Absolutely. that's for young, old, middle, all kinds of people. I think that's a cool thing. So I hope you guys keep that going. But, uh, no, I mean, what, what do, you, um, do you do you see, Kate and George, more younger people like Greg? He said he kind of tested the job waters and then said, hey, you know what? I'm going to do it myself, basically. Do you see more of that attitude? I do, uh, uh, and I think, again, the, the real crucial piece here is the opportunity for uh, people like Greg to be able to find other people that are doing the same thing and say, you know, I'm dealing with this problem, and how do you deal with it? And it, it really helps to in, encourage it. There's, they're kind of entrepreneurial spirits of, of all ages, but having that 20 to 30 really does, I think, make a difference. And, again, um, uh, Governor Lutzko's uh, efforts here. Oh, Governor Lutzko. Wow, we're starting something. I love when we make news on this program. Last week we found out, right, J-Dog, that our friend Richie Parker is playing in the senior, the U.S. Open golf tournament. He qualified, and now we're learning that uh, Kate's running for governor. Wow. Well, which, what I mean is that she, she really has that enthusiasm, and, uh, and she's absolutely right. She, she can make a big difference, and it will make a difference for our state in the future by – by keeping another 5% of the young people instead of having them move out but stay in New Hampshire. And, you know, it's it's just sitting here with uh, Greg Bowen, American Bat Company, and uh, Kate. Uh, Kate, let's go, by the way, and that's with Stay Work Play New Hampshire, stayworkplay.org. You know, you can see ingrained in both these people a love for the state, George. And, Kate, um, that's pretty high compliments if the commissioner thinks you're gubernatorial material someday. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> But let's grow the – knock down the unemployment a little bit through your efforts, and then you can uh, – no, I'm kidding. Um, have you ever had – have you ever thought of starting your own business? Have you gone through what Greg's going through? Um, I have thought about it, actually. But I feel like for me, now is the time for me to build my network and to, you know, get to know people and find out their success stories, really, you know, learn from those um, best practices. Um, and maybe somewhere down the road that will be my plan. What can our listeners or companies do out there to help you? you looking for more sponsors? Sponsorships, of course, but definitely a lot of what I'm looking for um, through social media, I'm pushing events, um, you know, job openings. I actually found my way up to Franconia for the Lupin Festival a few weeks ago from something I found on Stay Workplace website. So if there's something going on in the state and you want to push it out to a greater audience, I want to hear about it. Pretty neat. And best way to just contact you at the stayworkplay.org? Yep, it's Kate, just K-A-T-E at stayworkplay.org. Stay work, play, not and, just stayworkplay.org. If we can um, uh, shift the microphone, just just the mic, uh, over to Greg for a second, um, now that he's had time to think. Greg, as you come into, um, as you come into uh, the summer here, we were talking a little bit about high school or junior players who are serious about their game uh, using wooden bats. 
and maybe being good customers because they have to practice in the winter. So tell our tell the audience about who you want to become customers and why they should do it. Because if they if they get to the big leagues, they're not they're not swinging aluminum. Right, right, right. Um, any basically anyone, middle school, high school kids that are looking to get work um, in, either in the summer, um, you know, or you know, especially in the winter. Um, training with wood is one of the best things you can do. Um, it has it will show you whether or not your swing is hitting the ball in the sweet spot. Um, and it's a great way to not as forgiving. Right? Exactly, exactly. Um, and we do sell training aids too um, for certain kids to help um, hone their game even more. And during the break, we talked Southern New Hampshire University and Franklin Pierce baseball teams using wood. Yep, yep, yep. Some of the kids on their team um, are swinging our bats, um, but their conference is wood. So, George, I think you got to, in your travels, tell Southern New Hampshire University and Franklin Pierce, if you really want to be New Hampshire, quintessential New Hampshire, you got to buy your, your maple bats right here in the Granite State from Greg, right? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. why wouldn't they want a bats from New Hampshire? I mean, the wood's better, right? It exactly. is better. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, are there are there a zillion number of bat companies? I would think they're not. Um, I mean, I mean, if you guys have that good of a product, is there a chance you could get gobbled up or part of a bigger line? I mean, we. I mean, there is there is definitely that chance that, it, and as there is with any company starting out, um, but we can definitely um, focus on New Hampshire, and that's what we're doing now. Um, to oh, push good the, focus. That's good. I like someone with focus. Um, is there something unique about your bats other than? Just being good wood, or is there something in how they're made that make them better? I mean, it's not necessarily how they're made, but it's the fact that every one of them is turned um, under the eye of, of, you know, one of us, um, and that if the wood is bad, we'll just throw it out. Some companies will just take bad you, wood. You get and, kind of a dull bat. Right, and they can paint it black, and you won't even see either some of them have knots in them and that they're, they're destined to break right away. Well, good stuff. I wish you luck again, and uh, if you just can pass that to Kate and the studio. Uh, Kate, we wish you the best of luck with uh, uh, both hats that you wear. Thank you. Good luck with your gubernatorial campaign. Thank you. Uh, and get on that. And uh, really, if you're a company out there, not a lot of dollars, but you can really help the future of this state if you contact Kate at stayworkplay.org. Perfect. Good luck to you. George, as thank always, you. thank you very much for bringing these uh, entrepreneurs and future leaders or current leaders what have you, right in, and we appreciate that, George. Jack, thank you very much for uh, keeping a positive focus on New Hampshire business. I appreciate it. And by the way, George, I know if, uh, last week, J-Dog, I, some of the media out there, I don't, it's a big story they're missing. Richie Parker's playing in the United States Open for golf. He's the Dartmouth golf coach. He qualified last week, shot a 65 in the U.S. Open qualifying tournament, won the tournament, and I haven't read about it yet. So uh, he broke the news right here in New Hampshire today, so that's another thing for you to brag about in your travels uh, there, George. We appreciate it. Okay. All right. Going to move to a break. We're going to hear about a new ATV park in Berlin and uh, more on New Hampshire today from the Auto Fair Studio. Good luck to Greg Bowen, AmericanBatCO.com, StayWorkPlay.org. Kate, 